The quality of Doctor Who's writing may not be consistent, but at least the existence of the TARDIS is. So today I thought I would review the Jodie Whittaker Series 12 TARDIS extension that is on the Gary's Model Workshop. So just beginning with the exterior model, which I have sort of showcased a similar thing before. Firstly, look at the light, which emits a very nice blue onto the texture behind it. Very, very cool. Around the exterior, then we have some uh, textures, not the, not the highest quality, but um, still very, very nice. And of course, the usual signs that are available there. Actually, going inside is more interesting because you, of course, have the interior, which is visible in the show. We have these very nice uh, locking mechanisms here, the windows. And yeah, but this modeled really, really nicely. Um, kind of looks a bit like mine in, in real life, uh, minus all the damage and the mold. But really, we want to see what's the interior. So let's go ahead and open the doors. So going ahead inside the console, it's uh, modelled absolutely fantastically. I know there are some BBC games that have come out and, uh, well, uh, showcase this console, but I don't think any of them look as nice as this. So on approach to console, you're probably noticing the use of textures. Now I can use some materials to change them, but that does hide the controls. This is a work in progress. It's important to note that, that is a, this is a work in progress. Um, it will be changed and I'm sure uh, once uploaded, there'll be some tweaks as well. So make sure you subscribe to it, links in the description. So looking over here, we have these, uh, well, semi roundels, which um, of course, where all the cast tend to just sit and be lectured to by the doctor. Here, what looks like goes into a different room, but of course doesn't. I have to say, out of all the TARDIS consoles, this is perhaps the most peculiar. Obviously, no disrespect to the Adam Dwyer, they're just making a, what the show looks like, but it's um, personally not my favourite, but obviously everyone's entitled to their own opinion. It's coming over to the console, um, if you call it that. We have some controls. Now, nothing is particularly animated at the moment. Um, remember, the Capaldi didn't have animations for a long time, so let's be patient. There are some nice controls, so if we go to uh, this texture here, we can turn the power off. That has a very cool sound effect. So if we uh, turn the power on, and then off, it has lovely sound effects. And the lighting is done very nicely, so that's a good feature. Over here, we have another control, and we can of course fly it just as uh, normal. We can indeed open the doors. It's just, uh, oh, the TARDIS does now have health, so it's important not to try and uh, uh, crash it. So moving around, uh, no custom cream dispenser just yet, but you can adjust the, um, by pressing this, it obviously goes blue. Because of course it does. And moving that, which is animated, we've got that, uh, Absolutely wonderful motion going on here. And coming around, uh, which I think is where the plastic cream dispenser is, a uh, nice shiny texture there, which actually just looks a bit like a ball string. Back to the power again. And of course, we've got the uh, piston going up and down under here. Notice how the flight sound isn't as uh, you know, repetitive as the other add ons or uh, well, other flights. I um, always thought it was a bit weird how it's the bigger on the inside only starts here, but I guess it's kind of nice to have the four walls, it makes a bit more sense. It's probably easier for the BBC to avoid having to animate or use CGI on the actual thing. Oh, we're still flying. So, yeah, that kind of brings me to the end of this add on showcase. I know it was a very quick video, but uh, uh, obviously a work in progress at the moment. Um, looking forward to seeing the final result, but of course, it's a really fantastic and really great start. So. Uh, Please subscribe to the add-on, link in the description. Thank you very much for watching.